We are born with the seed of death. I hadn't planned to do this, but that's a very, it, it awakens a strong response in me. Everybody, no matter what language they speak or culture they belong to or gender they are, has a very high propensity of dreaming about the recently dead. And dreaming, knowing consciously that so-and-so is dead, and encountering him in the dream world as though they had not died, is one of the universal experiences of dreaming. And it offered our ancestors, who were not stupid, proof that the separation of life energy from physical form, in some sense, was not the end. And it got turned into ridiculous dogma, and the ridiculous dogma fell apart because it was ridiculous. But we still go on dreaming about the recently dead. And I think we go on dreaming about the long dead. I'm now convinced that whenever a dream has a group of anonymous people in it, even if it's just four people around a card table or a stadium full of uh, anonymous sports fans and everything in between, that the anonymous group is an archetypal marker for the presence, the living presence of the dead in the collective unconscious, which we don't know a lot about, but one of the things we do know is that the experience of time in the collective unconscious is totally different from the experience of time when we're awake in our bodies. Mm -hmm that in the collective unconscious, the beginning and the middle and the end all happen at once. And to the extent that that's true, the dead and the not yet born are in fact the same group of folks and they're real. They pass over with their unfinished business clinging to them like the chains clinging to Marley's ghost. And whenever an embodied person gets to the threshold of some kind of transformation in their own waking clock and calendar lives that is like the things that the dead failed to manage, they gather around. Their, their interest is piqued. And some of them may be conservative and jealous and totally unwilling to support anybody solving the problems that they fail to solve. They just want to believe they're insoluble. So anyone who tries to solve them is insulting them. All the way over to the ones who did keep pace with psycho-spiritual change in their lives and died with most of their challenges more or less accomplished as at least to the extent that it was possible in the historical period they were living in, and they show up as a cheering section. They show up totally in support of the dreamer who has arrived at the same place. The least you can say in psychological terms is that we human beings are inherently predisposed to symbolize large collective assumptions that we inherit from our history as crowds of anonymous people. And that once again, the arrival of the crowds of anonymous people is, I believe, my experience has convinced me, a, a marker for the dreamer arriving at some really crucial decision point whether they're consciously aware of it or not. Consciously, they may think they're just putting one foot in front of the other and doing what they're always doing. But the arrival in the dream world of groups of anonymous folk is an extremely reliable marker that that's not true. And one of the things that cheers me up in this very dire moment that we are all in is that the people who are having Trump nightmares often have them in a context of a large anonymous crowd, which is 
part of what upsets them. They don't know anybody. They're all these people. Given that it contributes to the sense of hopelessness and helplessness and sorrow and fear that the dreamers feel, from a symbolic point of view, when I imagine those dreams for myself, I go, oh, here's this marker. Here's this reliable marker that these things are up for change. They're up for change enough for this universal symbolism to come into play as a whole separate question from how miserable the individual is remembering the dream is made by the dream in that moment. And as I say, I'm convinced of that not out of theory. The theory came later. I'm convinced of it because when that is suggested to the dreamers, it awakens a flow of energy. It awakens stories that they hadn't thought to tell and incidents that they thought they had forgotten, and occasionally dreams which they hadn't even remembered at the time when they had them. Mm 